trans woman. So sometimes, on the ball, truck driver, killing it. Living with his mom. IQ not that high, but he could drive the fuck out of a semi. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great work. But then he would go off the rails, and he would send out pictures to whoever would talk to him via email, via, via text, whoever, of him dressed up as a lady in a skirt and skirt and boots, and say, hey, does this look great? And then rattle off a whole bunch of stuff about stalkers and his girlfriend and uh, all this nonsense about how the sheriff's uh, watching him and everything. And uh, also send... Big fan of meth. One lady. about it we're all in the same boat big old dick 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 god damn it <laughs> it's a good song dude your favorite rapper i want to live in a world where he gets to like i want to live in a world where he gets like a spot on snl you know what i mean oh like he performs yeah. he's the musical <laughs> oh, guest <God>. on SNL. <laughs> I'd be i like it we're pretty close to that world uh, dude maybe three more years yeah, you gotta say like I like TikTok stars will be hosting SNL. Did like fucking Charlie? What's her face? So she, she's probably hosted SNL by now. Who the fuck is Charlie? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just some teenager that was like oh, had the most did, followers did on TikTok. Show? Yes, that's the one. Yes, like it led her. It led her to a Hulu TV show because she's because she danced on TikTok. Yeah, she was like the. I think she's the most. I I assume she's like the most famous person on TikTok. Yeah, and it had that had like a. Family reality show, almost. So I think it's that's so show. dumb. Yeah, I mean, it's like a Hulu is trying to capitalize off the fame of TikTok. It like it everything is. is so backwards now. You know, there's no, you know, like dude, why don't you give a vet? Was when Hulu came up and was competing with regular cable TV, and then people were like, "Hulu's what's winning now." People are getting deals on Hulu, and now we're switching to holy shit, TikTok is moving to Hulu. That doesn't make sense. Oh, no, God. like, it's it's just funny to me that Hulu's, like, dying and trying to grab some fame off of TikTok. Like, it's completely... <laughs> Why does Hulu suck? I ads. love Hulu. I, I, I pay ads. I don't hate Hulu. It just, like, sucks Hulu sucks because to... of ads. You're paying for a service, and then you still have to do ads. I don't have ads. Do ads. Yeah, I pay more so for how ads. Much, some shows. How much extra? Ads, but... How much extra? Is I take that back. My girlfriend pays for our Hulu, and I don't have ads. <laughs> it's pretty good, actually. I think it's like four dollars more, something like that. Mm. I don't. Bad. I have. I'm kind of surprised that my girlfriend refuses to pay for that. Then, what the fuck are you doing, honey? Mm. Get your shit together. Ass, yeah. Cheap. Is she sending money to the homeland? <laughs> it's very funny i have no idea where she's from she's from one of those she's from a country countries. that's actually pretty similar to ukraine so she's got yeah they're all the same to me yeah if you could explain to me the difference between ukrainians and russians i'll give you a dollar like they're the same people to me they're ru, ra, ru, people mm. <laughs> well one's gonna probably lose and then the other one's probably gonna win that's yeah but like think of it what's gonna change think of it as the yankees the the versus the brits that's the difference. Yeah, that's, those are the same people. They too. talk. <laughs> they still talk the same language, but kind of not the same language, yeah. and they hate them because oh, and they like want the their Confeder. freedom. It's just like the Civil War, basically. No, not the Civil War. The War of Independence. But it's like the same. You couldn't differentiate. Revolutionary. What? Do you not? Well, no. The yeah, the South or... definitely like had like their own language. Like if you put a Ukraine and the, the oh, Ukraine and down, Russia next to each other, like I don't know the you difference. You ain't taking our slaves, no. It's, no, it's a solid argument because it was white people on white people before. Yeah, so it'd be like the mm. South versus the North. Like you guys look the same to me. You guys oh, look okay. like you. People probably talk the same in Revolutionary War times. They probably had the same accent. There probably wasn't a British <laughs> accent. Yeah, but it's the South versus the North, what? so they spoke no, 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 different from each other. Oh, you're talking about Civil War. Civil War. The Revolutionary War, it depends on how long they'd been in the colonies. For, so, yeah, there was definitely... I'm curious to know how... I picture Parliament all talking like this, you know? They probably all sounded the same. This is a whack-ass yeah, conversation. I know. I, <laughs> but but now, I'm actually kind of curious to know, like, was it just a mix of people? It's like, some. it's just the thought of somebody being like, 
You're never going to take our country. This is America. Get the fuck out of here, you dirty Brits. That's, yeah, that's it's, exactly uh, what it sounded like. But it's absolutely possible. It's like <laughs> Simon <laughs> Fraser setting up a bit, by the way. <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> they all drank tea. They all had jacked up teeth. They were, looked like British people. No, they got rid of the tea. That's how this all started. Uh, nah, they were Suck our dicks. Tea. Suck our dicks. And we haven't drank tea the same way as them. They're like, fine, we'll drink tea, but we're going to make it cold <laughs> and sweet as fuck. Sweet as fuck. Slightly, ra- slightly racist. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think sweet tea is racist. There's too many black people drinking it. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't call it. Hey, don't you fucking dare put evil on sweet tea. Also, black people you, have dude. two sweet teas. They have sweet tea and Kool-Aid. Also, I'm really mm. stoked that I just made a solid point about black culture to Mr. Toilet here. I had to thank for something. Like, yeah, we <laughs> love sweet tea. Although, if you go to a cookout, it's not the most popular I drink. mean... To be honest, Toiloy is black the same way that the National Guard is the military. I, mean, I have a theory not on this. Really. I, yes. Oh. Um, I think that... Uh, I could have said Coast Guard. That would have been really insulting. I don't know shit about them, but I know they're all wearing uniforms. You get it now. Huh? <laughs> they're allowed to say they're in the military. They can say... Uh, Hoorah, hoo-yah, and they can tell Marines. All those people that, like, watch over lighthouses yeah. and shit, that's the Coast Guard? The guard? But the Coast lighthouses? Guard is not allowed to claim military. Absolutely not. What is the, could they just guard the coast? I bet they still shit talk to Marines. Which no. I assume is the military version of the N-word. If you're in the military, then you can shit talk to Marines. But if you're not in the military, you don't get to. I mean, probably. Why are the I mean, Marines I, so I have hated? no... No, they're just friends, and they also kill a lot of people. They're hate. So they hate themselves more than anybody. Uh, they, they get mad I that pe- other I people do don't suffer. It's like they're like the old men uh, oh. of the military because they have to suffer so bad every day that like they're like, oh, you guys get to sleep inside most days, fucking pussies. Well, also, why did they d- grunts? Then just That's don't the other thing. don't join the Marines. I don't know. Do better in school. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There might be an average IQ issue. Anyway, this is shit I'm not allowed to talk Sling about. Sling Blade would have been able to join the Marines. Let's Who? put it that way. <laughs> Who would have? He got oh. it. I got it. I, I haven't even seen the movie, but I got it. You said Slave Rings? <laughs> could join the Marines? What does that even mean? They can, but that's different. No, I did not say Slave Rings. That, I don't know if that's you a thing. dumb You're, bitch. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't hear yeah, you. That's why idea. I asked. I don't know. What did you say? If you weren't so soft, you would end up in the Marines. <laughs> I almost was in the Marines. That's your they wouldn't take me. I believe that. Ed Brace is Jarhead's the... a compliment? Like, Jarhead is, sounds like a horrible insult. It's, I mean, it's just the haircut. Yeah. I mean, it's But not... also, like, if you're a Jarhead, that sounds like you're... If if that wasn't already a term, and someone called you a Jarhead, you would know they're calling you a dipshit. You'd be like, Jarhead, and you're like, huh. Probably empty jar. That's probably yeah. the idea. Yeah, I would have been you're like, Also, dumb. your head is shaped stupid. Fragile and empty? What do you... <laughs> yeah. Who has the most suicides out of all the branches? Marines, probably? Uh, I would guess Marines. Yeah, probably. Nice. Is it weird that Probably just because was... they, see, they see a lot of the, the most combat, I would assume. Oh, afterwards. Uh, yeah, that makes but sense. But there's more people in the army, I think. So, like, oh, per capita depends on if you're asking per capita or overall. I, I guarantee you that Air Force has the least. Who would have the That's least? That's what jumped out to me was Air like, Force. I just said this. No, 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 no. Did like, I just from say the a, bottom from the bottom of your heart? Are you and gonna, then you asked a question. Are you really? Is that your final answer? Like, are you Air Force? from the past? What well, the what fuck about is wrong the National you? Guard? That's part of a branch, right? Why would they? Would That's they? not real. They're not real. That is <laughs> <they're> not real. <laughs> oh, okay. I was gonna go Dude, National Guard, but I was thinking about that the other day. My favorite, my favorite jokes right now are just claiming that things aren't real that clearly are real. Yeah, that's the best. You can do it with any. The more a motherfucker made it on it is, the, better. the birds aren't real. Spokesman made it on a CNN interview. That's true. Birds aren't that real is true. Is the best. <laughs> the moon landing isn't real. So dope. The fucking anything isn't real. Uh, um, the Holocaust isn't real. So great. I so saw funny. a thing where they so said every time. there was a thing. Well, I mean, we were talking about jokes. <laughs> someone every th- time. <laughs> Someone made a post about how the whole Oscars thing was like a whole ploy for like the... Um, to get ratings? No, it was like a, a sacrifice <laughs> for Elaborate. the Illuminati. They they did. They were black. They made the status like, just want you guys to know you guys are laughing at this, but someone's career got sacrificed dude, tonight. black conspiracy. I, like, dude, what? I, see, I see this guy on like my reels all the time that is just uh, constantly posting about like the suffering that Michael Jackson had to endure and what they put him through and how That's he's definitely innocent. Right and it's literally just like, he just plays like clips of Michael Jackson in like shitty movie. Like the, he did that like ghost 
movie like where he like had like a haunted mansion and was like a demon of some kind who it's a michael jackson did not know this yeah it was very strange i actually want to watch it like it's a no. movie like it's that an actual like a film Wait, no, so it's he's not a music he's video placing, he's a, a ghost so it's just himself? <laughs> is it a home video? Like, he's just walking around his house? Like, what is it? It, it looks they like a made-for-TV no, movie. They applied almost. no CGI, and he looks dead. No, they applied <laughs> CGI. 90, 90s CGI. He just, they just bad. get him when he wakes up, like, they need to go to makeup. Hair? You're like, you're good, Michael. Just get on set. You're good. You don't know <laughs> yeah. no makeup. You're good. So this guy will just post videos of him, basically just, uh, like, where, like, it's like the little bit of his head at the bottom of the screen. He's just like... And they get, actually, the guy, weirdly enough, looks a lot like Chris Allen. It's like the same hair and everything. <laughs> <laughs> same hair and everything. And he's just like... That's odd to you that... Mm. No, it just makes, it just makes me laugh. Look similar to you? No, these specific two. Don't fucking pull that shit on me. That's what I came here for, dude. Objection? This is a weird... Why? When did Yale get Leading righteous? the witness? I don't like righteous Yale. Overruled, what are you doing? <laughs> you were leading the witness. You're looking for improper character evidence, sir. <laughs> Let me know if you want an old fashioned. And by that, I'm. What? Hand job. There it is. I do, by the way. I'll take one. What are you doing, those? Yeah, I'll do it right here. All right. I, I brought the shit in. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Oh, you did. Let's talk about the hand job. I don't want that shit. We're going to do old fashioned. Use the benchmark. Um. Yeah, the benchmark's going to be better. It's got more rye. Yeah. I'll just wait till we finish the next. It's time. spicier. Um, it's all right. Be gold, dig, dig. We got, can that just be the intro to the podcast, man? Just the song. Oh, we're just gonna rip them just off. Rip it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's definitely gonna not be cool with it. You're his biggest. Do you think fans. he's gonna find out about us using his intro? You know what we can do? Just give him. No, give him a here's the out. thing: YouTube algorithm does it automatically. You, it flags uh, yeah. any fucking song that's played. So what if we like? Put but here's the thing: like the it, song. it doesn't. It's not gonna affect us. Like literally, we can listen to music the entire podcast. We mm. get twelve views. So there's, I mean, there's no. Fair. What if he was one of our 12 viewers and he's just we have like, nothing that's, to that's, lose. that's not cool what you guys did. That's why there's four different episodes where I say the N-word because nobody's fucking listening. <laughs> and you know what? That's for you guys to go and, back and watch them all to find see out. See if you can find which episodes they are. <laughs> they go hard. back and it's like, yeah, it's more than four, by the way, buddy. <laughs> you guys have 13 it episodes. Was, it it's was. 12. <laughs> it was. Some episodes got pulled down because other people was like, hey, I don't want to be involved. <laughs> and you throwing them around. I'm like. <laughs> Your guess. All right, that's, you not that's, that's, that's that's fair. <laughs> wait, someone said. Wait, who was that? <laughs> Literally anyone. His with name was. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, 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 wait. We had a guest who actually didn't want us to air an episode. Uh, not you and I. Oh, my other podcast. I was yeah, gonna yeah. say. I think I should be allowed to say the N word. Yeah, yeah. Because like, yeah. yeah, yeah. you said the N word, you wanted it down, or did he say the N word, you wanted it? Down? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I've That's thought about it. There are words that uh, I won't say just because I don't want anyone to be upset and I have no personal feelings about it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. I just won't say it. I look People at it, it, it I look at it like cussing around your grandma. It's like I have no moral problem with the word. If you don't want me using it around you, fine. Also, Which is weird because when your grandma cusses, she definitely says the fucking animal. <laughs> yeah, no, There's she, no called, <laughs> she called black people coloreds. <laughs> Oh, is she? That's worse. No, <laughs> she... it's not because when you're no, 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 no. no, no, no. I would when you're from a time she, period where that's like say, that well, was it... really nice. That was a nice thing she was doing. Nobody's <laughs> arguing that uh, they took her out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, all her friends are like you know those niggers moving. And she's like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Those Colors. colored folks are really nice. People. Hey, those are some good colored folk. But here's a here's no, no, no. Let's drink so she said that, but. <laughs> To the coloreds. Fucking get I'm it. empty. Oh. I have no bullets in the drink. That's on you. Oh, Fucking yeah, poor yeah. little oh, benchmark, fashion. faggot. What? Oh, oh do you want nice the, old fashioned. I de- honestly, I didn't expect him to toast to colored, so I wasn't happy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a drink for you. I didn't say, like, I Hey, man. Drink. Why do you think I got this couch? Black and white, living together. Hand in hand, we can live together. <laughs> yeah, so you got something black you could put your ass person? on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We shouldn't kill each other because that is lame. <laughs> I had a there was a white lady who told me um yesterday that she thinks white people are fucking it up for black folks, and it threw my mind. Dude, she, she's Republican. <gasps> who who got rid of the N word? Who decided that no one can say it at all? Was it black people? Because I'm pretty sure they were working on other problems. No, they got rid of you guys being able to say the N word. I think white women did it. 
I think white women did it. Got rid of yeah, using the N word. I, I blame. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's, there's not some righteous. That, that's white not women what the it. riots were about. Which one? <laughs> I mean, you gotta be very more specific. I made it plural. <laughs> there's a lot of riots. I don't remember. None of them were. Can we have a right to bring back? Everyone was like, "Hey, we need equality and to not die at the hands of the police." Uh, yeah, you could say the N word in the meantime. Like, that's not really one of our one of the things. Why don't we have a riot? Why, why can we normalize the N word? One of the bits that I was trying was uh, my idea was that uh, if you really want to like help further the movement, I was like, any white registered Republican gets an N word pass if he participates in a BLM march. So like at the end of the march, you have to go through all the checkpoints. But once you get to the end, I was like, then you oh, get it's like an a marathon thing. <laughs> And then, like, when people would be, like, upset and groan, I was like, guys, like, in really small lettering, this is, like, not honorable by white people. Oh, so you got to get it punched by, like, a black person? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, like, it's like not not, not for use by exists. whites. It's, like, not, like, it's literally an impossible thing. <sighs> and then when people get upset, my plan, like, I would just be like, guys, they're going to say it anyway. <laughs> you now you're making a march for it. <laughs> just, just like you said, one year. But yeah, has been working on a bit where you could just say the N word on stage for many, many years. It's been a long process. You're trying to be. It, yeah, it, it's it, over. It, it died <laughs> in like 20. Whenever Ralphie May did it. No, no. Louis C.K. did it too. And uh, like, like 2015, I want to say. It was, yeah, 2015. Uh, yeah. Was uh, Ralphie was, May? When was Nigger That's June? still on Netflix. Oh, that yeah. might be more. Uh, I don't know. Our nigger at a forklift. <laughs> great What's that, one? Is that, that is one of, one of the greatest bits <laughs> a nigger fell asleep at the forklift My... he said nigger so dino... many times on that bit. dino's <laughs> greek so he doesn't have a do- dog in the fight and he's just like how do you fall asleep at a forklift <laughs> <laughs> i want to tell you the bit but it's too long you just gotta go watch. i'll send it to you it's such a You're great yeah, yeah. Bit. it is one of uh, i don't know why i don't know it I've he has two really good anyway. what do you say he, was he has the, two really good n-word bits he was like yeah, uh, he's like so man it's always one nigga ruining for the rest of us <laughs> at the forklift. he just basically broke it down like how every person when you give it to them of by each race, race they have a whole reactive. different outlook like why is a nigga sleeping <laughs> <at the forklift?" laughs> how do you fall asleep at a forklift <laughs> oh man i love i love a good nigger joke man it just warms the heart yeah. don't you guys you want i'm wondering <laughs> uh cultural stuff like shifts and comes back around and like stuff i don't know uh of other words that are like that that have been like removed for some people but not others because usually if a word is real bad after a while Nobody's people not it. saying it, yeah. it becomes like a quaint, old-fashioned word, and nobody gives a shit anymore. Yeah. Mm. You know, but like we're it's still here in our society because black people are allowed to say it, and they do as hard as they can, as often as they can. Oh, and Asians say it like it's going out of style. Asians are doing it. I knew oh, Mexicans Asians. were. I think everybody says it. Honestly, let's be honest. I think every race probably says the N word. White people don't say it as much as you think. No, I've but there around are, white people alone enough to say No, it. but there's definitely there's alone. plenty of black people that are making the argument that you like shouldn't say it and like how like it it holds back the movement. Like oh, yeah. uh Robert Downey Jr.'s character in Tropic Thunder. Mm-hmm. That was a strong black man that was like for 400 years that word has kept us down. Like I mean he was one of the By the way, it's weird how much back he, I you can't even do that no more. They can't even make a no. Tropic Thunder two. No. no, you cannot. And that'd be yeah. so great. And that was at two two thousand and eight. Yeah, yeah. That was the last great blackface movie. Dude, <laughs> shit has changed. Like honestly, the internet sped up the evolution and change of society so dramatically. Oh yeah, the internet is a failed experiment. I don't want to. Like, I mean, that makes me realize my kid, my, my kids are gonna be fucking lame because how they're all getting like they're trying to teach them how to like think like if i watch tropic thunder with my son when he's like 12 i'm like dad that's wrong i'm like i'm gonna punch you in the face that's fucking comedy that's hilarious get out i'm glad i'm glad my grandparents are dead (laughs) can you imagine (laughs) what can you imagine trying to have a conversation with your grandparents about pronouns no about I the 72 gender can you imagine even like dude i can and it would be delight i haven't had grandparents for the most part i like i had one grandmother my whole life and like she doesn't chat about much i she would took us on the uh, merry-go-round and that was about it i would kill them and That's then myself dude. like i, I wouldn't would love before to I... hear them talk about it Mm-mm. because they have no time for it they literally have no time so they have no time for that i mean they're i haven't even like they're not even like i gotta be honest my grandpa definitely was probably unaware of the existence of trans when he died and it wasn't that long ago yeah completely unaware they live in a completely separate world 
I have a black dad, so I feel like it's kind of like having like a grandparent because he doesn't kind of get what's going on. No, no, no. Go deep. Why is your uh, dad out of touch because he's black? You don't hang out with black people, do you? I, I do a little. Like any black guy who's over ahead. 50. Usually, so when you're not oh. defending a black guy, when you're not defending him, you they're did. really different outside <laughs> of the country. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're just calling uh, not caring for gay people being out of touch. It's just old school. He doesn't get the whole. It's old school. He doesn't. He hate doesn't people. get the whole school. identifying as. He doesn't get gender fluid. You try oh. to explain it to him, and he's just like, "That's gay," and he walks away. There's no. <laughs> well, none of us get it. I We're still just don't like, get it. All right, cool. All right, so yeah, I'm trying to explain Dude, I it to him. I a degree in sociology. I took tests on it. I do get it. And yet, people look at me and they think you are the problem. And I'm like, that's fair enough. I do you look are like the, the problem. problem. You, are, you are the problem. I've studied. The, Wait, do you the defend? Problem. Do you have clients that are gay? Um, I don't think I have had any. Hell yeah, brother. Keep it going. Yeah. All right. I practiced. I only did like a year of like legit practice in uh, Delaware, Ohio, and it's pretty much straight and white up there. Oh. Yeah. There's no gay people. You heard it here. So that's the true stat, though. No, There's no gays gay people. in Delaware. Sorry, Delaware zero. does not allow gays. It's a conservative county. Oh. No open gays. No, no open gays. <laughs> no, tons of closeted gays. They go hard. The oh, yeah, those are a lot the... of people getting hand jobs at truck stops. Oh, that's those, there's a lot of the double tap boys Ohio, down there in the stalls. That's weird. Yeah, that would, that would suck being like a traveling. Mm. Like, you know what? No, I did have one. Uh, uh, he wasn't gay. He was uh, trans. He was like closeted trans, but also he had. Uh, how are you like, a closet? You better trans. be using the right fucking pronoun right now. I <laughs> swear to God, I'm killing it. Trust me, because I I was the only person able to help this dude. But we'll get to that in a minute. Um, he his issue was he kept getting fired from jobs, and he was a stalker because he was schizophrenic. So he would go back and forth between being able to talk to a normal person and discuss his career, and uh, being a, a trans woman named Jessica, I think. And then also he had a girlfriend, and other people were stalking him. It was a whole thing. Are you legally allowed to talk about this? As long as I don't tell you who it was. So wait, is it like multiple personality? No, it was more like um, different realities going on, and he bounced back. So, and but forth he what was, makes sense and but what he was different people. She no, was, yo. Uh, Jesus Christ. They, them, it. Yeah, no, that's so why. That's why I'm trying to yeah. clarify so because you said sometimes day. it was a trans woman. So sometimes. On the ball, truck driver, killing it, living with his mom, IQ not that high, but he could drive the fuck out of a semi. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great work. But then he would go off the rails and he would send out pictures to whoever would talk to him via email, via, via text, whoever, of him dressed up as a lady in a skirt and skirt and boots and say, hey, does this look great? And then rattle off a whole bunch of stuff about stalkers and his girlfriend and, uh, all this nonsense about how the sheriff's uh, watching him and everything, and uh, also send big fan like, of mess. One lady. No, no, mm. just <laughs> so, the problem was uh, the uh, the prosecutor and the sheriff's office um, only saw him being a psycho stalker and like Never. ruining this one nice lady's life who was nice to him once at like a 4-H event. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nice to him once, and now he's fixated. And now he's fixated. He got a hold of her email address, and he's like, even when he couldn't How? contact her anymore, Dude, he that is... send her, uh, like, sign her up for all these different email lists. Oh. So she would block him, but then he would punch that email address into all kinds of stuff, and she knew it was him, because he's the only crazy person following her around. Damn. The, but but the, uh, the police only knew that side of it, that he was being a psycho, and then his therapist, free from the state of Ohio... Mm -hmm only knew the trans stuff and would chat he would chat openly about all of that and him being confused about his gender his sexuality all that stuff but never brought up all of his criminal charges and how he was about to go to jail if he didn't get his stuff squared away and so i had to uh fight the uphill battle of getting the sheriff's office in contact with his his counselor and his counselor is like oh can't talk to you hippa and i'm like literally this is the signed paperwork fuck talk to me don't be a fuck about this. And so, like, I finally, like, I had to call dozens of times to get a hold of the actual counselor and be like, we have all the paperwork. I'm his attorney. I have more rights to this person's life than you do and information and all that shit. Like, 
You Which is always a very good it. way to phrase it when you're trying to get somebody to cooperate. I'm oh, actually wow. in a better, higher position than you. A hundred percent if you want them to be afraid for your client because they had no idea that he had criminal charges pending against him. So I'm like, you, here's the number for all the people working on his criminal charges, trying to just lock him up for his mental health issue, which is not going to fix it. Finally got him in contact. As soon as that happened, I never heard another thing from him. He was fine after that. It was constant criminal charges, constant everything, him messaging us weird stuff. And then as soon as I got him connected to each other, which took months. Who's us? Just your law office? Yeah. So oh. like, as soon as... I'm more concerned this man is hauling rigs. That is dangerous. Oh, he kept getting fired because he would send crazy shit to his boss. And his <laughs> boss would have to like figure out how to get rid of him because he would send weird stuff to his boss. Like if he dressed up as a lady, creep out his uh, co-workers who were like, Hardcore men who have no room for this in their lives. Yeah, know? most truck drivers don't want to see it no. there. They, nobody becomes a truck driver because they're so woke and they want to get involved. <laughs> 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 what the fuck got me on this rant? You know, the worst part is the long hauls, but that Jeff sending him oh, pictures of him in a skirt <laughs> makes it all gay, worth and it. I'm like, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man, that is, yeah, all right, dude. That was wild. Well, Anyways, I hope, I hope. Very uh, stressful, and I don't do it anymore because huh? it makes me sad. Oh. Well, I hope, what did you say their name was? I hope they're doing good. Uh, sometimes Jessica, I think. Okay. I don't remember. <laughs> if it's Jessica, I'm going to go off. Methany. It's probably Jeffrey. I'm going to guess it's his real name. I swear to God. Just living with it's his Jeffrey or James? Totally clean. Just mental. He was riding the high of his own brain chemicals. I think he was doing meth, dude. Because that's... No meth dealer would talk to this dude. Called a bitch a methany. No? Okay. I remember the song. <sighs> you guys listen to weird shit. I'm that fine is. with it, but like... I think it's just you don't listen to enough weird shit. Yeah, I used to. I uh, you gotta get I'm big more on podcasts now. I don't get consume more. a ton of music. Yeah, I've been getting in the habit of that, and uh, so just it was, a, can, like, it was a it was stuff while you're no, doing but it was it was like a nice day on Wednesday, and I just uh, I went to drive to go do something. And it was nice. I rolled the windows down and just felt like blaring music, and I was instantly in such a better mood. And I just realized I was like. I've got to just stop constantly listening to, like, comedy Podcasts. podcasts. Yeah, that's, yeah. I was like, i got to, like, ingest some other forms of fucking media and Dude, be happy. on a summer day or windows down, as soon as ice windows cube, down, you gotta today was a good day, nothing beats that fucking feeling. <laughs> Dude, I only listen to, uh, I'll listen to... Friday by not, Rebecca like... Black. That's what no, I'm talking wrong. about. You're not wrong. Uh, I'll probably keep my windows rolled music, up on that but one. only the shitty pop kind when it's summertime in the winter i don't want any country get that shit out of here but in the summertime when the sun's out and you're like fucking toes in the sand let's go I'm like about the, it. i hate country music I i've only never like the fake stuff i've it's never liked it pop, i'm into it i was raised what is i was raised pop? in the middle of cornfields and i still i've never never fucking liked it catch a vibe with the windows down one day no <laughs> he's, he's like yeah no i'm not Dude, gonna. i've tried it just it's not it's not for me i just don't country music's just depressing dude no, I don't listen to the depressing stuff. That's what I'm saying. I literally only listen to the stuff that country music fans say. That's not country. Well, I'm like, yeah, that's the only what stuff. What is that music? If you can make an argument that Johnny Cash is country western, so. Yeah, I'm not listening to Johnny Cash. I love that Johnny dude Cash. makes me a little sad. I mean, I, I like him. He's solid, but I'm not putting him on. I was like, he fucking better because there, there's going to yeah, be no, fucking called, problems. Yeah. I don't no, listen to Johnny Cash, talented. but I respect him. <laughs> no, you don't. I do. No. Even don't. more after 2005. <laughs> I like uh, that that sounded good until you put any other words in it. I don't listen to black people, but I respect them. <laughs> I said one person. You just took a whole group of people. <laughs> that's the... Yeah, that's what I do. All right, dude. Let's let's get let's get one more cocktail on Steven. He's gonna start saying stuff. Uh, I can't wait to become a <laughs> sassy, <laughs> sassy, <laughs> hateful bitch. I came to play. I've been eyeing this podcast for a minute. <laughs> You're like maybe one of the few people that actually listens dude i like it he's probably the only person i that tap listens. out after a while but i like it well yeah that's how most people are what <laughs> episode did you tap out on My, <laughs> just keep... i listened to uh you had uh time War and tucker on that's the best one that, i mean so fun god it was so funny i love them i listen to people that i love so like if you have people that i love on then i'm like gonna i'm like gonna listen to that for a little bit i can't have it on i mostly listen to podcasts while i'm working and i can't have anything too engaging so like they were like going off and i'm like i gotta get something done today yeah no that's one of the episodes where like just us four together have like an actual genuine good time i mean it's so you listen to eddie sherman's podcast when you're trying to get work done 
Fuck oh, you, we're starting a podcast war. What's up, what's bitch? What's up, bitch? What's Fuck up? You. Fuck Help you. Fuck you. I can't get down. We would talk gay? shit about... We would, Fucking gay? I would talk shit about funny guys eating cereal podcasts, but that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I was a guest on that shit. Went. It never fucking Dude, aired. took him down. I was Mine so never upset. even went up. He took him down <laughs> so that he could record with his daughter, and I'm like... Fuck your daughter. What are you doing? <laughs> Dude, we ate cereal together. That's you heard it bu- here first. Steven Herchek is threatening to fuck your daughter. I drank a half <laughs> gallon of milk just for the effect. I'm like, I'm I not came really in, using milk. Let's go. I came in with chocolate milk just so I could have like a new angle on it. Because listen to me, and I stand by this. There are certain cereals that good. chocolate milk goes better on. Milk. Milk. I have not chocolate. done I don't know chocolate milk, yeah. So, um, frosted, frosted flakes. flakes. You said that, and I tried it. Honey bunches of oats. I have not, okay. dude. I, I don't and have And the peanut butter bunches. Captain Crunch. Oh, yeah. Oh, that that makes funny. sense. Those, those three so far are the ones that I was like, chocolate I, milk absolutely I tried the frosted flakes, but I make my own chocolate milk. I use a... So wait, you mixed it up like in a glass? I know. I, I, I buy a half a gallon of milk and then I put my syrup in there and I just keep this my chocolate milk in the fridge. No one can touch it because I don't have time. <laughs> to, make it in the glass. No, because that's fucking uh, waste of my time. I'm not waiting. I need to. Ch- I just drink out the thing. That's my thing. That's my. No, no touch it, dude. Tanya told me today that um she was like, oh yeah, you can drink out of the milk jug. Like she was wait, like, I don't care. Oh, Tanya, gotcha. Okay, sorry, I got lost there for a second. You mispronounced it. That was weird. Yeah, so did you. <laughs> what is going on? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Dang it. I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. Okay. It's, it's pronounced Tanja for one, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. I got, your, I got your back, buddy. It's Tanja. Knock it's, it off. It's <laughs> Tanja, you fucking racist piece of shit. Whoa. Fair. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> how did you know? <laughs> Is it that obvious? No, tra- I, yeah, I, I, mean- I opened with hi, I don't care about Russians or Ukrainians. Like, I'm fine with that. <laughs> and lumping her in just adds to it. Yeah. <laughs> I like how I nobody nobody cares about that now since the Oscars, by the way. It's just like, oh, they're still fine. Dude, I, so the part that got me, like Will Smith's having a mental break and I feel a little bad. But um, no one's like, oh no, he was justified. No, he's having a mental break and we're going to find out about his counseling here very soon. Maybe medication. No. No, a yeah. lot of people are saying it was justified. They're like, fuck yeah, you don't Very talk weird. that way about a man's Very work. weird. So many people defended him. There's so like, many people on my Facebook. Like, no. Fuck you guys. You guys are pieces of shit. I have such you don't a hard hit time anybody. Not tweet, like, commenting on Facebook messages. It never goes anywhere, and, like, well founded opinion is useless on Facebook. So I always, like, yeah. type it out and go, eh, ah, just don't, don't get involved. But the thing is, like, first of all, smacking somebody in the face is illegal. Like, you're not allowed. He's a criminal, he yeah. did a crime. And as long as, uh, and it won't go anywhere because uh, Chris Rock is like, no, my next special is going to be amazing. He doesn't give a fuck. No, as I was about to say, he's about to get a crazy offer from that. No, but here's the the thing. Um, If he would fucking sue, it would actually make people think fucking twice before they tried to rust the stage. Did you see Jim Carrey? (laughs) Jim Carrey came out and he was like, I would have sued. I'd be suing Will Smith for $200 million right now. He would win. Yeah, he would absolutely. They would settle. They have video uh, evidence. evidence. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. And it's like a, how much? You just kind of technically ruined Chris Rock's career. Not ruined it, but Dude, it leaves no. a dark stain on his career now. It does not. He got slapped in the no, face because look for how, a joke. No, because look how many Dude, people are defending Will Smith saying Chris Rock was out of line now. No. Those people can for suck the, a bag of dicks. The They're still most watch his mild I agree. fucking joke. Do you realize Do you she realize hair, so he's how, like, you're in the military. Like, that was the whole thing. G.I. Jane. There's a, here's a movie where a girl shaved her head. That it's so Here, fucking mild. It's so mild. It's so fucking mild when you it, consider the fact that your wife's, you and your wife's son's friend fucked your wife, and everybody knows about it. Everybody's talking about it. <laughs> and he didn't make a joke about that. Do you understand how fucking lucky you are? He wrote so many jokes and threw them away. Yes. <laughs> that oh was my the God. most. Mi- Put it to this here's way. the for after I got slapped that Mike. I, I watched it, and my very first thought is, like, as soon as I got smacked, I would have went, like, wow, you're really this so upset at, about August's girlfriend right now? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's the first thing I would have fucking said. Oh, he would have rushed dude. the stage and tried to beat the shit Does out Does August of know you're defending his girlfriend up here? Oh, dude, that like, would have God been... damn. Well, here's my thing about it. That's if, not even your girl. <laughs> if, Dwayne, if Dwayne Johnson was on stage and said, hey, looks like we got the same barber, do you think Will Smith would have went up there and smacked him in his face? No. He wouldn't have done shit. No. He would have been really quiet. No. Um, I would have smacked him. Two points. Uh, One, I forget. You said something a second ago and it sparked point one. Point two, the only thing that I give a fuck about in that uh, scenario is like, 
Will Smith, whatever, he smacked a dude. Like, he's off his rocker. That's not honestly that interesting to me. What's What I loved was uh, Chris Rock's reaction to it. I've been hit in the face before for making fun of someone. And that is exactly how it went down. You're I was like, just like, wait, oh, when did this happen? Wait, really? Really? Oh, I've been hit twice. I've been punched in the face twice. <laughs> Yale saw me. I become a real nigga when I get hit in the face with no, him. Oh. I do not. I become <laughs> In fact, white. that's his favorite two words to say while he claps his hands. <laughs> I become no, a fuck real that. nigga. Can you see it? Hey, can you, can you fill in the blank so I can do an impression of you? Are you going to do the clap? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. No, nah, fuck that. I'm, I'm a real nigga. Fuck that. Don't put your fucking hands on me. I'm a <laughs> nigga. <laughs> That's what he was doing. That's what he was fucking doing. Little did I know I was drunk and it was a group of jugglers who were probably going to jump and beat my ass. But... I've just witnessed the only way a white person can say the N-word is they have a black person jump in for the word okay. while they... This yes, is when team. you said you were this gunning for... This is tag for- team comedy. <laughs> no, 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 I tagged no, no, no. you in. <laughs> when, That's the only thing when, left. When Steven said I've been eyeballing this... Co- I was like, he wants to take my spot, but he can't do certain things I do on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, you say nigga on... You say nigga It art. was so funny because he tried to shove past me, and uh, I was just like, no, and I grabbed him, and then he tried to do like the little shuffle, and I just picked him up and started walking him, and I, I felt him like he was continuing to yell... Wait, wait, Pause. Did I get rela- did I him? loosen up? Does get relaxed? Like yeah, yeah. No, he was yeah, getting dude. ready to get in a fight outside of Scully's. With- oh, okay. But yeah, then just a couple of fucking white trash juggalos. Yeah, yeah. That's like when we fight. were doing yeah. comedy on the street. You and don't fight people that are important. You fight and so like I, I pick him up, and it's funny because he yells for the first like second that he's up in the air. And then he realizes that he's being carried away. And that's not a man. And move. feels I can't keep yelling. <laughs> he feels defeated and then decides to like try and maintain some honor and starts yelling again. So it was it was just like, no, nah, fuck that. Fuck these guys. Fuck you, motherfucker. You a bitch. <laughs> you a fucking bitch. As he's being carried away. Like he wasted. I had to act like it was part of the plan. Like, yeah, walk me around the corner real quick. <laughs> Carry me and drop me off around the corner. I'm yeah, going to my car. Carry me back. Carry the me bar, back. I I don't know if you noticed, but I started like shaking a little bit with laughter when you paused and then started yelling Dude, again yeah, I <laughs> because did, I felt because you realize how silly you look when you're just hit for like, a second. see when you have black it, friends. It, before you can do a fight with black friends, they do the fake holding you back, but they let you jump a little bit, then they pull you back. No, no, he no, just I've straight up, he just it. carried me away, and I'm like, I'm not getting out of this. So, uh, <laughs> what am I doing? I could have like literally done the fucking the lift from Dirty Dancing. Like that's, that's how light. <laughs> oh, he was. dude, if I would have that's the half Asian side. Of it. <laughs> and dude, you know how limber we are. I would have did the pose and everything. I would have still talked shit though. Uh, hey. <laughs> dude and then he hugged me the guy who i fought we we hugged he yeah hugged they me. literally were like making up like right after this. he came like, up ah, to me man, and hugged so me good, he man. hugged me he's like i'm sorry yeah, i was super drunk yeah he was he's like i'm sorry i'm drunk and i was like you and know then, what i'm i'm inside trying to explain to like this uh the person who's like managing that night at scully's being like the listen i know he weeks. also just got in another fight here last oh, week yeah and it looks the... really bad on him but this time was not his fault and they're like the other time was and i was like no, bad choice of words. Um, <laughs> neither time was his fault. He's just extremely unlucky. <laughs> I asked him, first off, Asian men look like Asian women if they have a certain hairstyle, correct? Hold on. So back to my point from five minutes in. All right, Brian Harris, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Black? <laughs> Dude. Brian Harris. I recognize that you have been talking for at least five minutes, but I'm just going to pick up right at I the last word that I saw. I said two points, and you guys cut me off halfway through point This two. is what we do. We make jokes. I'm sick of it. So, Continue. <laughs> Continue. Dude, I have a theory that half white or half Asian and half black equals white. That's where you land. Fuck you. I know. Go, you go live in Marietta hold with this hold skin on. tone for a year. Hold it on. is not equal white. Fair it equals not shopping a giant eagle and getting fucking followed while your white friends steal shit. That is a great. I was actually a decoy. It was actually good. You were the decoy. I was a decoy. They they awesome. they would always say wear your backpack and walk around the store. Oh my god! You use stereotypes would, against them, dude. They would. We would That's get, fucking they would, beautiful. They would steal candy for us to eat. I would be the decoy. I'd get followed. And they would just go steal Listen, shit. Listen, that's a... What if someone stole an apple pie? I don't even know how you could walk out of the store with an apple pie. That is a weird pie. example on, wait, of no. racial unity. That example... <laughs> we, we linked. We, it was... We came to... We broke bread. It's driving him nuts that he's starting to slowly it's forget alarming. his points. He's trying to figure out... Exactly what just fucking happened. I'm like... 
<laughs> Fuck! I have so many points to make. Now it's no a game. For, no further, now it's a game to see. No if further make questions, Your Honor. The fuck he was gonna say. No further questions, Your Honor. Steven, your turn. Points to make. Shit to do. If I could direct you back to my PowerPoint. <laughs> Do you want me to give you a little notepad so that you can, you can Dude, jot down one A thing? little. <laughs> when I first went to... It's an all-white school, by the way. There's only three black people. I still haven't people. heard my argument. You just said no thank you and moved on. <laughs> I'm going to say that's the black side. <sighs> He's not wrong. Uh, I'll stop you when you don't make sense. Go on. Okay, so no, no, no. Here's my theory. and it, uh, it It's not a great theory, but uh, it's it's got... Two points. I love how Hertrick always does court talk when he's having a co- like a normal conversation. I thought it would be fun. Go on. Honestly, lawyer is. Uh, That's what I find one. funny. I'm just. Oh. I'm just go ahead. No. I'm <laughs> fine. I'm fine. I'm I don't like talking over each other, so I was going to let you go too. <laughs> I know. We'll, we'll revert back <laughs> to it ten minutes. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing my point. <laughs> um, you looked at your watch. You fuck. Um, Someone no, no, was calling. No. Me. So uh, two points and an example. Uh, oh, did you guys see this one. article? Um, I swear to fuck. Okay, t- pull it up, Jamie. <laughs> good at sports. Good at math. You bring the two together. Medium at both because the the, the reverse is true. I was good nobody's, at math. I was a good student until I I'm found sure points. you were. And that reminds me. So you guys ever <laughs> so, been in math class, right? And <laughs> here's the thing. So you put uh, black and Asian together. And you get the best golfer the in best. the world. Go on. That's exactly my point. The whitest sport in the world. And who is the best in the world at it? Half black, half Asian. Ooh. This motherfucker made my point. Somebody cheers my ass. Yeah, but you took like no, 27 minutes. No, it looks better if he minutes. does it on Wait. camera. No, no, shit, he got me. Give me some. He got Give me. me. Some. You made my point. He got you me. Point. He got me. I'm glad you... The one thing my people are proud hey, he about. Cheers I didn't see it coming, I didn't. <laughs> hey, he cheers me against my will. Hey, God damn. Hey, I tried to fight him off and he cheers me against my will. He Roethlisbergered me. I did not fucking want this. <laughs> the first In a public that. space, he did this Fuck to me. I like how Steven made it seem like it was groundbreaking evidence. Like, I. Go Browns. Go understand? Browns. <laughs> Dude, we went to go see Tony Woods. The first thing he said in the audience, he points at me and goes, Everybody give it up for Tiger Woods' son. That's the first thing he said. <laughs> That's how I met Tony Woods. That's <laughs> fine. It wasn't that like, funny. <laughs> yeah, that's what I. Th- that's what my thought was. I, like, kind of, but also he would have had to get together with another half black, half Asian person, which would. There's a lot of us. Honestly, Did you know? I'm not the only one. I'm not the no, last no, no. Mohican in this it's, motherfucker. There's no, no, no. a it's lot of black Asians. Heinz Two Ward. groups of people that turn out very beautiful people that are very skilled and talented. Like, obviously, you're gonna get together. It's gonna black happen. China. There was a point I was in the top ten on Gears of War one. Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward, yeah. Oh, he's a black and Asian. Mm-hmm. See, oh, no, that's no. the thing. I have. Uh, the two points in the one example, and that's it. My argument falls apart after that. Black, black China. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Those think are she, irrelevant. You know what? I'll let you have <laughs> Play on words. Did you see? She just uh, she made a post about everyone um, in Tony Cruz's bit. Yeah, Wu Tang Clan. No, she did a thing about how she uh, she said she just made a tweet yesterday. She's getting backlash. She's like, I had to give up three cars because I had to pay for my kids. Something, something, something. Talk about being a single mom, and then Rob Kardashian commented underneath like. I pay forty thousand dollars to put our kids in school, pay for all their expenses, and I see them. I get them Tuesday through Saturday, and then tag a comment underneath like, "I pay thirty-seven thousand dollars for the other kid, and I get them Tuesday through Saturday." Who's the plug for the school so I can save three grand? That was basically how it was, and, it just, and everybody's shitting on China like, "Wait a minute, don't you don't see your kids but three times a week, and you're complaining about giving up three, three of your cars three days a week?" Yes. And then she still gets child support, even though they're with the. the she other has them on a Sunday and a fucking Monday and a Tuesday. It's literally so right that now? she can slut around the rest literally of the fucking week. Literally, she's a fucking whore. Damn, Black China! If you want to defend yourself, you can come on the JLG podcast. We're yeah. always open. Yeah. And no I, problem. Just try women's. Yeah, yeah, hooker. <laughs> hey, do some white people shit. You'll probably be great at it. <laughs> she can't do white people shit. <laughs> uh. Be good in. Um, fuck me, I drank too much. I can't think of words now. Yeah, this is this is the, the best entertainment part. industry. Fuck. This is why I like the JOG because we start off talking about civil war. Well, I wonder what they sound like now. It's like Black China. You're a fucking whore. Says, yeah, you're a fucking. <laughs> sl- no, 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 shit, shit. He That's just right. said civil hey. war. Hey, so <laughs> black Listen, Ebonics, dude. If I if, if I if I, if I do civil war, it's a civil war. Yeah, yeah. If it, it's a civil war. <laughs> civil war. Oh. You know what's about, if you don't want people to do an Asian accent, don't have such a fun accent. 
it is. Oh, dude, it's it such is a fun, fun accent. That's because the there's so many accent. different Asian accents too, and they're all fun. Oh, literally, if you could figure out how to do the different ones, which I do when I'm alone and not around people, it's so <laughs> fun. Nick Mullen What's your does... favorite? Uh, the fake one from uh, Team America World Police, where they throw R's into <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything is. <else. laughs> They throw R's welcome. into everything. It's no one's accent. Good to is meet that. you. Welcome. Oh, how are you? Do you a ring? It's so dumb. <laughs> they throw R's into everything. That's not even a thing. Hans, you're breaking my balls here, Hans. You're breaking my balls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are no, you able to get May 17th to the 19th off? I don't know. What are we doing? This is the 18th. Off of you? what? J- just, oh, yeah. No, oh, no. you want me to cancel my shift at apartment? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go to LA? Uh, I don't have enough time to get back. I'm so before. fucking yeah, upset you that you, you had me two on shots. to talk logistics about your own fucking outside mm. schedules. He does this shit all the time. Another thing that he does that I'm looking at my schedule so that you don't get out no. of not inviting me to a thing. No. Yeah. Do you want to go to LA? On the what was it? May? Yeah, we could take the van up there or the bus. <laughs> the fucking bus. So it could break down halfway and I get mad at <laughs> you for me missing a spot. <laughs> it will not make it. What was the time? Oh, dude, can you bring me to the fucking trunk and head or like my next show? But if I jump, can I dress in like an orange jumpsuit and have handcuffs on and come out the back of your fucking. <laughs> oh, dude, how great of a sketch would that be? You drive your little van downtown. Fucking, if and I, then had I had break sh- out the back in cuffs. If whoa, I had whoa, a Sharpie, whoa, whoa, whoa. this would be funny. I bought a prison bus and you called it your little van. That's like, <laughs> hey, that's like, hey, how, how'd your. You still doing your, your little skits? Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, you still that, doing you know your little I'm comedy you skits? Know what, you know what, I'm <laughs> that's sorry. what that was. You know I what? bought a short bus, prison bus. Your little van? Come I'm on. Sorry. No, the mo- I Just because ba- I registered it in the state of Ohio as a van to pay less in taxes. Doesn't well, then like- you know what? Then my <laughs> argument is pretty fucking solid, dude. And the statement stands. Your little van, bro? Do you want- <laughs> Can you please drive me around downtown as and let me just jump the out the back? I was concerned. I paid... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this fucking so it'll I show up nine, on camera i paid nine hundred dollars for it can and, you uh, and yell dress as cops van. can you and yell dress as cops i'll dude, wear an orange to dress suit. as a cop people assume can you just wear a suit yeah dude and let yes. me jump out the van in handcuffs downtown like i'm running away no honestly all you need is uh like a black polo and like some slacks and uh we get miko to be the guy who dude, jumps out the I back have, uh, that would tear i have downtown. hella i have Hella Columbus cop friends. Actually, I have share friends too. Like, we could get a uniform. Oh, we could just buy one off. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. We could borrow a legit one. Can we they get legit can they, badges? Can they, can they don't can, give a fuck. Can they get us a gun? I have a gun. I have several guns. Look at me. Hey, look at my look at me in my white, very white blue eyes. You think I don't have guns? How many guns you got? Uh, hey, do you guys want to go shooting? Yes. Yeah, I, dude. Ammo prices are fucking. F- they're still expensive, oh, but they're finally dropping. To oh, like, they're dropping? Dude, 45 used to be $50 a box. Now dude, it's like 30 I never practice. I have a gun next to the bed. Never practice. What are you, what are you packing next to the bed? It's uh, My dad gave it to me. It was just his... Uh, it's a compact 9mm Glock. The Glock 26? 9mm. It's, it's the baby Glock. I have the 27, yeah, yeah, which is the, I have the 40. Do you have your concealed carry? I do too. Well, yeah, that's a perfect. That's yeah, so yeah, easy to. It's literally in the summer. It's you won't even notice it's, it's there. Like you'll get out the other day, like, oh yeah, I had a pistol with me. That's it's what the I double w- stack. It's a little big. It's oh. not the subcompact. It's the compact. The yeah. subcompact is the forty-three or the forty-one, I think, or some yeah, shit. I don't remember. It's a single stack. I got the twenty-seven, which is the forty cal version of what you have. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Glock is uh, different versions of exactly the same thing. Every time. I I fucked up because I got what I thought was the perfect concealed carry gun. You got that big ass forty five. That is like, not a, a good. Forty five. That is not a thing. Good it, it, no, no, it's not big. It's like the the design itself. As soon as you shoot it, you're deaf. I mean, you're deaf immediately. Yeah. Well, actually, forty cows are actually louder than a forty five, and they have more yeah, recoil. Yeah, that math has up. I think. It does not. No, it's a higher. It's a, no, it's a higher pressure what round. Am I of? It's a higher pressure round. Pressure. Yeah. Well, I, so you don't shoot that much. I'm guessing. Do you like? I do. I'm aware of uh, the things, and no one brings up uh, round pressure. You've never well then Google it. Round pressure. Forty fives actually have a look. Forties are really snappy. Because caliber, the I don't know what am I thinking. Forty fives are actually the gauge is the one where it's lower, it's bigger. Caliber is different. Caliber is different, and a forty five actually shoots 
slower than a 40 cal and a 9, so it actually doesn't have bad recoil. This motherfucker's like talking about... To do with this like motherfucker the, jumped the, to the shotguns load, just now. The... Yeah, I was like, I'm talking about <laughs> handguns. He's like, you know what? 12 gauges are different than a 9 millimeter. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. I've been drinking. What? That's a little van energy, dude. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Dude, yeah, what else guns you got? We got to go shooting, dude. I have an uh, arsenal at my house. I hunted when I was in uh, high school. I lived in uh, Pennsylvania, like Mm -hmm. rural Appalachia. Uh, People ask what it's near, and I'm like, no, to every city they say. It's very, Mm. it's not close to anything. Um, I have a 30 out 6 I've killed a couple of deer with that. And it's overkill for killing deer, but my dad found a deal on Penn's Woods. That's the the most popular uh, round in West Virginia. But also because they're shooting like 300 yards for a deer sometimes. Yeah, no, no, you don't get that when you got hills. See, I hunt with a 308. That's my round. I I have to imagine that West Virginia deer taste like shit. Because they're going to be so fucking gamey. gamey. Because they're they're going to, like, they're they're constantly, like, climbing up and down. They're going to be too. They're not big either. They're not very big. They're very They're more wiry. Like, there's no fucking way. I was in uh, Appalachia in, like, like fucking hills. Oh, oh, (laughs) Appalachia? You know what hills are? They go like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me explain it to you. You could also do the same thing for surfing. Oh, yeah. No, please. Go ahead. Take it on over to you. So it goes up and then it goes down. That's what mountains are. (laughs) Hunting two electric boogaloo over here. Are they dancing? The deer. That's crazy. Wow. So it was difficult to hunt there because a lot of people hunt there. So the deer get smarter. It's a thing. And, like, people turkey hunt there, and, like, you can't get shit because the turkey know to stay away from any noises. Dude, when you're hunting, so when it's every hunting. when there's gunshots constantly going off, they're hunting. It fucks, it fucks Dude, up your hunt. rifle season is fucked up. You have to know somebody that has a lot of land. And we got lucky we knew somebody who had, like, some. 400 acres. We're bro. going down to fucking Kentucky, baby. No shit? West you know Virginia. You land? Yeah, my family. We have 400 acres in West Virginia. What side what, of the oh, family? Oh, it's West Virginia. The white adopted side. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my black side, we got the black side. We got four acres in Brooklyn. It's a little bit different. So four acres in Brooklyn is millions of dollars. I'm sorry, four <laughs> acres in Brooklyn. Actually, yeah, we own a we own a, a, a actually a property building in Brooklyn. Zero percent. Um, you don't own four acres of it. No, not four acres. No, no, no. we own a building though that people Brooklyn. rent out of. We I don't own know a Brooklyn, build. but it might be picket. Um, four apartments is four I acres. I, <laughs> equivalent. It's more, it's more than four. The, than it. It's, the, it's a big ass property we own in Brooklyn. the country boy four wheel drive in me wants to know like wants to be connected with your family and your oh dude grounds. you have to have a truck to go up to the land because of the I road have... we have three atvs horses and cattle like we're taking the dip. prison bus up there bitch it Let's won't, go. It, it won't <laughs> even it's make it it's a dually uh, it's eight <laughs> cylinders it might make it no, no not up to the hunting part like you have to have like a jeep or like an suv it's very okay. rocky it wouldn't, Fair enough. i wouldn't do that i don't even Fair yeah enough. i wouldn't it just wouldn't be comfortable but uh, I don't I know if I have pictures. I haven't been hunting since high school. I'm hunting my first time it's in so four fun. years this year. It's so oh, Can I come? It's so yeah, fun. Bring your thir- yeah, that's the most popular round. There's a 30 out 6 or 30 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's so fun. Um, Actually, it's not that fun. It's medium fun, and then the meat's delicious. I I just uh, sleep when I go hunting. That's dude, my I favorite part. Fall I fall asleep every time you I show hunt. show up dude. at like 4 a.m., like before sunrise or 3, whatever. The dude, fuck I'm it is. fucking beat. And I always fall asleep. And that is the best nap you'll ever have. Dude. Is like leaned up against a tree. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how cold it is, dude. And you're bundled up and you're wearing orange and fucking. Matter of fact, I got a story for you. I fell asleep. So I fell asleep under a tree, bro. And there was a fucking. It was a spike. 15 yards in front of me eating. And I woke you're, up. Uh, you're below 18 or whatever. So you could take a spike. Or is it different in. Private property. I can kill what I want. It's our land. That's different in other states. Pennsylvania, you can't. It has to be like. Four or six points or something before we can. Yeah, West Virginia and our nobody. Who are you gonna? Who's gonna tell on who? On our we have four hundred acres. Oh, okay. Yeah, no one's. I will tell you that the best the best nap that I've ever had. And this is Hold consistently. He's telling a hunting story. You don't know white people. You said like that. I don't want to hear about you your sleep repeating. That's the best nap that I've you can ever have. No, I want to come back you, to I'm it. I'm telling you that you're wrong. My best nap is different. No, I'm telling my best you nap is that my I best have nap the best is nap that's ever been taken. All right, all right. All right. Hold so, on to that thought. I want to hear. Okay. There's a thing called a uh, CQ in the military. It's that you do a 24 hour shift where you just sit at a desk in case anybody n- gets locked out of their rooms in the barracks, or if there's a check, something that needs to happen, they need to have one person in charge. That sounds like so something they have, they do just for fun. So they have like uh, an NCO, and then they have like a a guy that's like lower rank that's a runner, and you two are handling 24 hours straight. This is your job. Watching the office for everyone. 
Exactly. You bring back, and <laughs> some people are fucking dickhead. So literally, one time I brought my fucking like forty six inch TV 100%. and set it up there and was playing like Mario Kart and other shit. Uh, but some people are absolute dicks about that. They're like, absolutely not. You cannot have anything. You can only have a book. They're just like they're just dickheads about it. So wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna point that at whoever that was for a minute. What? You yes. can only have a book. Gay yes. sticky note. Gay to whoever that is. Um, you pointed it at me. I never. I don't even believe in books. I don't know. They're not real. <laughs> books aren't real. Maybe they're dead. Point it up. If a good book. <laughs> Hopefully they're dead. Yeah, now. it's literally pointing directly at you, but all right. <laughs> it's pointing right at your face. Yeah, what are you no, doing you have to leave it there now. Nah. You did this to yourself. Now you're gay you and brought dead, this upon dude. Yourself. I don't even know why you did that. One finger out. Three For the people just listening to this episode on audio, there has been a post-it note that I made that all just says gay people. with an arrow on it. And I've been pointing it at Steven strategically throughout the episode. <laughs> because of the penises, I'm sure. Because of Did the you dicks. Just chase your cocktail? So, anyway. That's not a good fucking bed. Once you're, once you're yeah, like so Hennessey. deep into the shift where it's like 3 Ugh. o'clock in the morning and you've been there since 9 a.m., that fucking just like a 45 minute nap where you're like, hey, because uh, I've been in both positions where I've been the person in charge and I've been the runner. Um, where you tell the person, like, hey, I'm going to be gone for about 45 minutes. I'm going to take a half hour nap. And I was like, anything happens, you fucking call me. And you have to turn your ringer up all the way. So when you get to nap all the way through that, when you get a solid, like, 40 minutes of nap, knowing that if you get a fucking notification on anything, that it's going to go off, and you still get a fucking complete nap out of that, that is the best goddamn sleep. It's okay. like I'm I've gonna never. It's because it's gonna, high risk. It's right. almost like gambling with your rest. Steven, I'm gonna change for a long time. It's beautiful. I feel you. It's I'm beautiful. gonna change my uh, best nap story to the second best nap I've ever had was during Gail's long ass build up to that. <laughs> that was fucking awful. I was. Well, anyways, I'm back to hunting. In a second. Any <laughs> back to hunting, dude. So, anyways, I'm. I gotta get an ice cube. Uh, you guys talk shit about like stuff. You, you know what? We'll wrap up. This is one episode. This is almost an hour. We so we'll wrap up right there. Fuck, I am not done. If you guys, we'll do another one. one. We'll do another one. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Let's go fucking jump. I'm gay. Go fuck yourself. Hey, what do you think about um?